Yeah, I would note that we're here to talk about President Biden and an inquiry uh, relative to President Biden. Um, one of the whereas clauses here in the amendment that is offered says, whereas in the 11 months since the Republican-led committee, committees, the Committee on Oversight and Accountability, the Committee on the Judiciary, Committee on Ways and Means, first began their investigations, Republicans have received tens of thousands of pages, private bank records, Department of Treasury, National Archives, Federal, FBI, IRS documents, and dozens of hours of witness testimony, including Special Counsel Weiss and other high-ranking officials at the FBI, IRS, and the Department of Justice, attorney assigned to Hunter Biden's case. Well, I think what's important here, and we're not here to litigate the merits of impeachment, but to simply uh, proceed with a process for an impeachment inquiry for this body, the House of Representatives, to be able to conduct its oversight function uh, when we have seen an extraordinary amount of stonewalling, contrary to what the ranking member said, uh, out of this administration. Uh, consider, for example, um, with respect to the IRS, Biden's Department of Justice has prevented two tax division officials, um, Mark Daly and Jack Morgan, from testifying despite subpoenas. Um, now, this is particularly concerning given the indictment of Hunter Biden just this past week. According to, these, uh, to the IRS whistleblowers, both Morgan and Daly were involved in the decisions to not charge Hunter Biden with some of his most egregious tax crimes. IRS whistleblower Shapley said in 2021 that Daly had agreed with recommendations in the report to charge Hunter Biden for crimes in tax years 2014 to 2019. In June 2022, however, Morgan and Daly reportedly gave a presentation on why DOJ should not, char not charge Hunter for the 2014 and 15 tax years. Well, that is particularly concerning, given the extent to which those have now been allowed to lapse with respect to the statutes of limitations. Morgan and Daly also have firsthand information about David Weiss's authority to charge Hunter Biden outside of Delaware, which could potentially contradict previous statements Weiss has made. On June 29th of 2023, the committees requested transcribed interviews with 11 DOJ officials, including Morgan and Daly. DOJ declined the request and multiple further requests. On September 14th, 2023, House Judiciary Committee issued deposition subpoenas for both Daly and Morgan. However, Department of Justice stonewalled the committee once again. Daly's personal counsel said the Department of Justice directed him not to appear. On November, 20, on November 1st, 2023, <clears throat> House Judici Judiciary Committee issued a subpoena to Morgan that required his presence at a new deposition date. However, Morgan's personal counsel informed the committee that DOJ had directed him not to appear. <clears throat> now fast forward. December 7th, Hunter Biden's indicted. DOJ states, quote, a federal grand jury returned a nine-count indictment today charging Hunter Biden with three felony tax offenses and six misdemeanor tax offenses. According to the indictment, Hunter engaged in a four-year scheme in which he chose not to pay at least $1.4 million in self-assessed federal taxes he owed for tax years 2016 through 2019 and to evade the assessment of taxes for tax years 2018 when he filed false returns. Okay, my colleagues on the other side of the aisle want us to believe that that's some standalone problem for the president's son. But here's the problem. Four months ago, the same David Weiss that we're talking about tried to bury the tax case against Hunter Biden. That's what happened. Um, at that point, offering a uh, no-jail plea agreement um, on two relatively unimportant misdemeanors. Uh, basically, a deal. Uh, pretty much out of the ordinary. And the problem with that is, is that now, suddenly, Weiss has moved a different direction because a judge called it the deal out. Um, he couldn't rationalize the plea bargain deal that he gave Hunter, and now he's making the case in the very indictment that he just put forward. The fact of the matter is there's been an extraordinary amount of stonewall. This is one example of dozens that we could get into, and this is why the inquiry matters. This is why we should proceed with the inquiry. There are other issues that we could get into and raise, but to dismiss it and, and to just put aside and say there's been all of these investigations and there's been no issues that have been raised, is just completely contrary to what anybody with eyes reading news accounts of what has occurred and looking at the indictment that was presented last week 
would understand. I yield back to the chairman. Mr. 